Hi, I am Dr. Jyoti Patil, consultant gynecologist and an IVF specialist. I am the clinical director of Janani Fertility Gyne Care, which is in ACS layout, Whitefield, Bangalore. I also practice at Rainbow Hospitals, Marathaldi, Bangalore. I will be discussing about the sperm count, what is the low sperm count, its normal parameters and its implication on pregnancy. Sperm count of anything less than 15 million per ml of semen is considered as low sperm count. The normal count being anything by 15 million and above. In this low sperm count, again we have mild, moderate and severe. Mild low count is anything which is less than 15 million. Anything in between 10 to 15 million is moderate and anything less than 5 million is considered as severe low sperm count. So we call it as an oligospermia. So are there any symptoms which the males might be facing because of this? There might be problems with their sexual life. They might not be able to maintain erection for a long time. There might be a swelling in the scrotal area. So how is it diagnosed? We will ask the male partner to give a semen sample. He has to masturbate and give a sample with three days of abstinence. That semen, when it is observed under microscope, we look for the count and the motility. Then a detailed semen analysis is done and the report comes as low sperm count. So we need to find out what might be the cause for low sperm count. It might be any medical issue, any environmental issue or a lifestyle one. Medical issue being any infections in the past, that is infections in the childhood to the reproductive system through the scrotal area, any infection like mumps or there is any swelling in the scrotal region or ease on any medications like any steroids, antidepressants, we need to find out. The second one is environmental exposure. Is he getting exposed to certain toxins? Is he working in an industrial environment? Or is he exposed more to an x-ray? We need to find out. And the third one is lifestyle, especially smoking. Smoking has got a lot of effect on the semen analysis, especially the sperm count and motility. The second comes alcohol abuse. How much is the intake of alcohol every week? or is he obese? Obesity has got directly related to his sperm count and motility. Basically, the testosterone production will get affected in obesity. Now coming to the treatment, the first thing being lifestyle change, you have to quit smoking, quit alcohol, you have to start walking daily, you have to maintain a healthy lifestyle and to have a lot of vegetables, fruits and meals which are rich in vitamin C or start taking vitamin C supplements and if you are a software engineer and you are used to putting your laptop on the lap, kindly avoid that and put it on the table so that the amount of heat which is generated with the laptop doesn't affect the testicles and avoid taking bath with hot water, kindly use lukewarm water. Now coming to the treatment modality for a pregnancy to happen with a low sperm count. If the sperm count is around like less than 15 million, it is between like 10 million, you can go for an IUI which is called as an intrauterine insemination or an artificial insemination which gives you around like 20 to 25 percent chance of pregnancy. In case if that fails, the next modality is to going for an IVF. If the sperm count is less than 5 million, IUI might not work, you have to directly go for an IVF. In mild cases, when the sperm count is around 10 million, it is better to go for an IUI, which is called artificial insemination, which gives you around like 20 to 25 percent chance of pregnancy. And if the count is less than 5 million, an IVF is indicated, where especially an ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, wherein one sperm is taken directly and we take one sperm and put into one egg, which gives you around 60 to 70 percent chance of pregnancy. There are certain conditions when the male partner gives a sample, semen sample, there might be only semen and there might not be sperms, what we call as azoospermia, that is nil sperms. The reasons for this might be any obstruction which is happening in the reproductive system. So in such cases where no sperm has been found, there is something called as testicular aspiration, wherein we put a small needle directly to the testis and suck out the semen and we can see sperms in that. So the modality will be to go for a testicular aspiration and use those sperms with an IVF. So the treatment modality in azoospermia, where there are no sperms, will be to go for a testicular aspiration, select the sperms and do a ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection and put into the egg, convert into an embryos and put the embryos into the male partner's wife, which will also give you around 50 to 60% chance of pregnancy.